Shalom. I want to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, brothers, that's doing this work in sincerity and in truth. Coming back at you with another video. Uh, this is going to be just straight foolishness, man. That's why the brothers and apostles always say two thirds of our people got to go, man. They they have to go. By the way, this is Brother Bob Ra from GMS Chicago. I'm going to read this article, man. That's hot off the presses. Haven't read it yet, but it's from CNN. It says, man stabbed to death after argument over Popeye's chicken sandwich. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> man stabbed to death after argument over Popeye's chicken sandwich. So this is crazy, all right? A man was stabbed to death Monday at a Maryland Popeye's after what appears to have been an argument over the restaurant's re-release chicken sandwich, police said. So you got people... Uh, uh, dying over a damn chicken sandwich, man. <laughs> Our people are, are fucking gone, man. Fucking gone. All right. And and it's nothing you can do with two thirds of our people. There's nothing you can do with them. That's why they have to be cut off. Because you thought in your mind, I must I must stand in a line for a damn chicken sandwich. Well, let me let me read the article. Let me read the article. The victim, a 28 year old man, was stabbed outside the restaurant around 7 p.m. Prince George's County uh, Police spokeswoman Jennifer Dolan said at news conference Monday he had been in line for a chicken sandwich when he and another man got into an argument which spilled onto the street. Dolan said police believe the argument began over someone cutting in line. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Jake. Jake love foolishness, man. Jake love folly. All right. Matter of fact, let me get that scripture. Jake loves folly. Let me get uh. Let me get this Ecclesiastes. It says folly is set in great dignity. So I don't even have the time working a full time job, uh, studying, uh, doing the work of the Lord. Uh, dealing with a uh, family, dealing with your demon, all these things. I don't got time to stand in the fucking line for a chicken sandwich. But you got simple ass Negroes <clears throat> got time to, 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 to stand in line for a chicken sandwich and then stab somebody for cutting in line for a chicken sandwich, man. Our people got got to go, man. They got to go, right? Folly is set in great dignity. And the rich sit in a low place. And we are uh, we are destroyed <laughs> as a people if this is what <laughs> it, 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 it comes to, man. All right? If this is what it comes to. Now, let's go back. Uh, go back to this article. It says, for you to get that angry over anything and to develop into this type of violence, again, is a very sad and tragic day. Uh, Dolan said and you know our people this is their win man you know our people is gone the society is gone you see how people drive in traffic just to speed to get to the next light to be in front of somebody alright just to cut in front of somebody you know <laughs> to buy you know a high blood pressure causing chicken sandwich uh, is insane, man. I'm at lost words. It says officers who arrived on the on the scene applied life saving measures until the man was transported to a local hospital where he was pronounced dead. Dolan said police are still looking for the suspect. <laughs> Dolan asked the suspect and people who were in, at the restaurant at the time to reach out to det detectives. We are looking for a male, and that male knows who he is. He knows what he did here tonight and he needs to do the right thing and he needs to set up, uh, step up and turn himself in. CNN has reached out to Popeyes for a statement. So this is, uh, uh, this is maddening, man. Uh, Jake is out here on the street dying for a chicken sandwich, but they don't want to stand up for this word. They don't want to stand up and come back to being an Israelite. All right. They don't want to stand up for the most high. They don't want to serve the son, Yahweh Shai, but they want to. <laughs> they real, they willing to put their life on the line for a fucking chicken sandwich, man. <sighs> Come the hell on. This is uh, 
This is Isaiah 59 and 8, man. This is crazy. Isaiah 59 and 7, actually. It says, Their feet run to evil, and they make haste to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity. Wasting and destruction are in their paths. You cannot do nothing with a nigga, man. You cannot do nothing with a majority of our people, man and woman. Hell, you even had a, a, a fucking kid uh, for Halloween dressed as a damn chicken sandwich. Our people, our people are are gone, man. Simply gone. And they need death. All right, death is a light thing, and this is what these people need. It says, uh, "Wasting and destruction are in their paths. The way of peace they know not, and there is no judgment in their goings." What kind of judgment? <laughs> what kind of judgment is in your mind if one you standing in a, a damn line like you at a fucking at a fucking amusement park for a chicken sandwich? Then somebody cuts in line, a fight breaks out, and then somebody gets stabbed to death. Only, only Jake, man. <laughs> only fucking Jake, man. Right? The way of peace. They know not, and there is no judgment in their goings. They have made them crooked paths. Whosoever goeth therein shall not know peace. And, and a nigga's life is, is, is madness, man. It, it's simply madness. All right? That's why when the actual elect uh, uh, receive salvation, are saved, the, the nations, all right, the heathen that are on this earth and alive and, and witness it, are going to be awestruck <laughs> that the Lord <laughs> delivered these people, man. But it's all through the spirit of Yahweh Shemihawashai that he's putting us back in order right in front of these people's face. Uh, okay? It, it's simply, it, it's beautiful, man. Judgment is going out. Let's keep going. Hosea 4 and 6. All right? Very, very basic. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, and thou shalt be no priest for me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of the Most High. I will also forget thy children. And these are the same people in the reincarnation, because the Bible does teach reincarnation, coming back today that 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 uh, mocked Moses in the wilderness, that, that backbited you know, the prophets, that, that's, that sought to kill the prophets. All right, that sided with the Romans, that wanted to stay in captivity, to go back into Egypt. These are the same simple as as niggas today, man. <laughs> still, still on this earth, uh, killing each other over chicken sandwiches. Come the fuck on, man. Let me keep going. One more scripture, and this is more of a rant. Uh, than anything, man. Uh, this is Jeremiah 11 to 14. Therefore, pray not for this people, neither lift up a cry or, or prayer for them. How, how are you going to pray for... Uh, uh, <laughs> rest in peace, my you know, my brother my brother died at a Popeye's <laughs> waiting in line for a chicken set. It, you know how, just how ridiculous <laughs> that sounds, man? <laughs> Come the hell on, man. Neither lift up a cry or a prayer for them, for I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me uh, for their trouble. <sighs> yeah, I'm. You know, this is this is ridiculous. Uh, this was a you know spur of the moment. Want to jump in, jump into this and just uh, basically uh, put this art, put this uh, lesson out that our people got to go, man. Two thirds of our people got to go. Period. I want to give all glory, praise, and honors to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and Shalom next time.